So here, Samantha works 25 hours every week. So we want to find this out as a unit rate per day or how much on average, what would she work per day? So what we can do is we can just write out her 25 hours and we can just convert our, our week to days. So divided by seven days. And then we can just divide to work out the unit rate. We could also use our multiplication method where we are keeping track of units and do it that way as well. This way is probably simple enough and we should, we can get a unit rate fairly easily this way. And I'm getting a calculation of 3.57, okay, and that would be hours per day. Okay, so on average, she's working 3.57 hours per day. So she needs to earn enough money to buy a car. To do this, she needs to work 630 hours. So how many days will this take? Well, I'm gonna use my multiplication strategy here, or my unit analysis. So I'm gonna start with 630 hours, and I'm gonna use my unit rate. I wanna convert this to days. So I'm gonna have my hours in the denominator. Okay, because I need my hours units to cancel out. This is going to be a unit rate, so this is one day. Okay, so I'm going to use the reciprocal ratio here. And so this is basically going to be times on top, divide on bottom. Okay, so we're going to end up with 630 divided by 5 point, sorry, it's going to be 630 divided by 3.57. And I'm getting about 100 and 76.5 days and I can see that my units are correct okay because that's the units that are left over okay so she earns $17 an hour in her job how much does she make if she works 25 days whoa okay well, let's see if we can do this with our times divide strategy so I have 25 days and I want to get rid of the days. And the conversion factor I have is the one that I'm going to use is going to be this one right here. I'm going to convert that to hours. So I'm going to multiply by one or 3.57 hours for one day. And I know that my units are going to cancel out. Now I have hours. So I need to then get rid of the hours and convert it to dollars. And there's my rate right here. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply. So I'm gonna use hours in the bottom, days on top, or sorry, dollars on top, and then I've got my units left over. Okay, so I'm gonna then just multiply through. So I get 25 times, times on top, and Divide on bottom, so this works out nicely because it's just all multiplication. So I end up with a calculation of one thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars and about twenty-five cents. Okay, and I know my units are correct because I can see that my units left over are dollars. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. We have Caden. He gets fifty points in forty games. So let's do this as a unit rate and let's figure out how many points per game. Okay, so when I divide this, I'm gonna get 1.25 and my units are points for one game or points per game. Okay, so there's my unit rate. So I wanna figure out the number of games to get 80 points. So I'm gonna start with my 80 points and I'm going to use my time strategy. I need to get my points on the denominator. Okay, that way my units cancel out and one game in the numerator. And again, I just have times on top, divide on bottom. So I end up with 80 divided by 1.25 and that's going to give me 64 games. And again, the calculation works out to be 64. I can see that my units are consistent and it's 64 games. Okay, and 
Some of you may have known that you want to divide by the number of points. Well, again, this makes sure we're clear that it's going to be divide by 1.25 points. 